Today we are here in Covent Garden to meet Jamal Edwards, the founder of SBTV. SBTV is a web-based youth TV channel with 20,000 YouTube subscribers. In 2009, SBTV landed an official YouTube partnership and it has become one of the most popular channels in the UK. Okay, so a pleasure to meet you here. Can you tell us your name and your company? My name is Jamar Edwards and my company is SB.TV. I got a camera for Christmas and then I just started filming around my estate and then from then it just keep, it kept on growing and growing and growing. Okay. And is there any specific thing that you focus on in terms of the company? What do you film? UK stuff mainly. Uh, recently started doing international stuff. But yeah, it started off doing UK grime and UK rap and hip hop, spitting bars straight to the camera on the street corners, anything. And how popular is the site? Uh, well, I've just hit... When I left my house, I was on 15... Million seven hundred and fifty thousand. So you're running this whole show on your own. How did you stay motivated when you were doing that? I don't know. I just like I just love to like people just like the feedback I was getting from people and stuff like everyone was watching my videos, commenting on my videos, and that just motivated me to keep going and provide everyone with fresh content every day. But how would you say your model is in terms of being able to make money as a business? What's the, what's the kind of thing that drives you or that is the best part of the business? mainly advertisements. So what have been the biggest challenges working solo? Well, the biggest challenge of working solo is managing my time. Like, say for example, today, I had a video with Jamie Little at two o'clock. I came here, then I've got to go Mercury, then I've got to go Presser Green. It's all about managing my time, that's the hardest thing. So do you have a strong network around you and have they really helped you to you know, build up SBTV? Yeah, I love my SBTV team. Small but concise, gets the job done. And in terms of getting your, the, the word out there about SBTV, do you, do, they, do you depend on them quite heavily? To I don't to... depend on no one. I'm like, I may have a team, but I know I've got to do this for myself because I'm the one that's most passionate about it. Yeah, they work with me and that, but like, I know if I want to do something, I'm going to have to go out and do it. Obviously, I'll ask them and then they'll help me to do it. But at the end of the day, it's me. Like, I'm the guy that has to thrive everyone. What would you say to other 16 to 19 year olds who mm -hmm. wanted to go out there and run their own small media company mm -hmm. like you have done mm -hmm. what kind of advice would you give to them just do your thing don't try to change yourself like like say for example i've done f64 i do grime all that but i've recently like done stuff with kelly Rowland, Chase Chase songs drake sean kinks and esme dentas and that's obviously like mainstream stuff people will say oh someone's telling me to change but that's just me myself because that's what i want to do like when i first started sbtv no i didn't think i'd be filming drake and all them lot. I go to these places on the regs, like where I'm doing interviews with people, there'll be other film crews and all that there with their like hefty cameras and stuff like with my cameras is like some HD thing, I still get the job done like but loads of people would be looking at me like who's this guy like da -da -da, coming in here and that but like I like even people say I get more views on the internet than some of them so like it's not about what you've got, it's about how you do it. So how do you go from just being you know, having your camera mm -hmm. and just going out and filming a couple of people, how do you go from growing that from something really basic to having, you know, hundreds of thousands, millions of hits? Just pure hard work. Like, it's not, that's just it, hard work. Hard work. You're they, not going to get nowhere if you don't work hard. Like. What do people say that they have worked hard and they've never got as many hits as you? What, what is hard the thing that enough. you've done? I don't know, like, there was no form of no spitting interviews on YouTube. So I said, look, there's no, like, there's a gap there, like, I can take that gap and try to like, be the first in it. So I did that, and that's why probably I'm ahead of so many people. That's why loads of people are jumping on the online thing nowadays as well. Obviously, you've spoken to me about the advertising, but you've obviously okay. extended your brand to do clothing as well, okay? And how, how are you finding that away from your core business? Well, I got Dirty that I do collaborations with, which I've done F64 t-shirts at Mass Clothing on Oxford Street. Okay. They, those sold out quickly, but now, Yesterday, we were sorting out a proper shop on the site, which will be like updated like every week or every month, which will be strictly SBTV. So that's going to be, I'm very excited about that because I've seen the designs and they're pretty sick. So even do it SBTV FM, build up to like the point where, say for example, Travis McCoy from Gym Class Heroes, like he's coming over, yeah? Like, they'll, hol they'll holler at me and say, look, do you want to have a video interview with him? I'll be like, yeah, I'll get 10 minutes with him. And even with the clothing, like, they'll say, oh, 
do you want uh, Travis to wear some SBTV clothes? In terms of social media, you're on Facebook? Yeah. You're on Twitter? Yeah. You're on YouTube? Yeah. Anywhere else? Um, MySpace? MySpace, mm -hmm. uh, Facepick, Facehood. Um, Facehood? Yeah. Okay. Across all those different media, how do you maintain your presence there in terms of your time and how does it affect your business? Whatever I do, I'm always updating. So, like, with Facebook, I've linked my Facebook and my Twitter together. So when I update my Twitter and put hash FB, it goes straight to my Facebook, so that saves time, innit? So obviously you're building a successful brand, yeah. and a successful business, but surely there must be, without mentioning any names, mm -hmm. there must be people out there, competition, who don't like what you do. How do you deal with that kind of competition? I'm gonna say one thing to this question, and that's it. I'm chasing my dream, not the competition. And that's it. That's okay. it. Okay, fantastic. So I wanna say thank you, Jamal taking your time out for the interview. No Chris. problem, anytime. Sometimes starting out in business, you are gonna be a one-man band. But if you're really passionate about what you do, that may not be a bad thing. Whilst many people think that in order to be successful and reach your goals, you need a team, you can actually start to build a successful company on your own. Running a business on your own comes with its challenges, and one of them is time management. So if you want to be productive and successful, manage your time from the beginning. Thank you for watching. We'd like you to post a video response with your thoughts and opinions on virginmediapioneers.com.